everyone, it's Missy. So we are on our 13 to 14 weeks before average day to last frost. And I just wanted to remind you that a week ago we planted our onions. I do have a few coming up in this row. And now it's time to plant the celery. So I have my celery seed and also if you have um, celeriac, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, you plant that as well. These we're planting indoors for seedlings to transplant outdoors. Now, you can also sow seed for indoor use of dill and cilantro. Again, I'm not exactly sure why they put that in the book, because if you're growing indoor plants, you can start those whenever you want. Um, another thing to check on this next couple of weeks is your onions in storage. If they are sprouting tops like this, you can actually use these tops in cooking. So they're just reminding you to um, take and harvest the shoots of your onion bulbs. And then it's also, they want you to build a simple cold frame. And the reason for this is because with our seedlings, we will need to harden them off outdoors. And therefore it is um, a, planning, a planning ahead stage where um, you're getting ready to put those seedlings somewhere where they can harden off. Um, or you can purchase a cold frame. That's perfectly up to you. Um, but anyways, so we're going to be starting the celery seeds. And this is just the celery seed that they sell um, in my location. And here we go. So it is the tall Utah variety. And this matures in 100 to 120 days. So I was also reading in the previous chapter where it was 15 to 16 weeks before average day to last frost. In the narrative, they said when you started the onion seeds, you could start the celery seeds at the same time. But they actually put it on the checklist for the 14 to 13 weeks before average day to last frost. And again, you just put one seed in each of the pods. I already did that before I made the video, um, but just go ahead and do that, and then you will have everything ready to go in your garden plan. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.